We're gonna um, do something a little different. Um, instead of painting from a board game that we have um, and going off of like specific references, we're just gonna paint these guys and we're gonna go like off of our head. Um, we got, we recently opened um, one of the Epic Encounters uh, sets and we got all of these miniatures. Um, we also have a red dragon, but we're gonna save that one for later because we just decided to. We're gonna start off small and then we're gonna work our way up to the big, the big one, um, which I'm actually kind of excited for. I also need to decide which one I want to paint first. I kind of want to start off with these guys because I like how they look. So I might try to do that, and I'm just gonna see how it works trying to paint. I've never like done the same model of mini before, like. Oh, like, more than once, right? So this is going to be something a little new. I think I might have some, like, differences maybe in, like, the specific scale color of these snake creatures. Maybe in, like, the clothing and armor of the kobolds on top. You know, like, I might make this one a little bit more orange and this one a little bit more yellow, you know? Uh, give them different colored bows and whatnot. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I could paint the underside of the belly like an... A tanner color, I think. So I'm going to mix a tan color really quickly. Let's see what colors I want to use. This might be a good color. Maybe. Actually, hmm. We have a lot of these paints again. So I might also use heavy ochre. And maybe a little bit of pale yellow. I think I want the thing to be like a little bit more yellow than tan. Where did my paper towel go? I know I got one out. Oh, there it is. I just left it on the table. Okay, grab it real quick. Now I think we have anything we need. So this is like more of an orange color that we're getting, I feel like. I think it might be good, a good um, base coat for us. I'm going to just kind of start over here. And kind of go like this. Probably have to do a couple of coats, but I think that doesn't look too bad actually. May have added too much water, uh, but that's okay. That's no problem. We can fix that easily. Yeah, it is kind of like very reminiscent of a proper red dragon. I honestly, I don't know. I probably should have looked up what kind of um, creatures these are supposed to be before I started painting them. Um, uh, but you know what? It doesn't really matter. Because since we're not going off of a reference, they can be whatever we want them to be. And so they'll just be like dragon snakes. I'm going to be a little messy. Um, just for this part, I can always go back and paint over the where it's supposed to be red again with one of my red paints. Okay, so now we have something like this. Oh, I should get the mouth. Silly me. Yeah, I'm going to say this is a mouth and not armor. Sometimes I'm just gonna have to I mean like okay I don't quite know what this is but I'm painting it this color so now it is this thing. Okay, let me do the second coat now and see how that looks. I'm very excited to paint these um as well because I don't know if you guys remember but like when I painted the Star Wars minis I was complaining so much about um how there was so much brown in these miniatures and I really got to use like any of the other colors like I don't I only got to use red for like the little details and stuff in the Star Wars minis I don't think I ever really used yellow I used orange a little bit they weren't a very colorful group so these ones I'm a little more excited to do just because I get to use other colors now there will mostly be like reds and oranges and yellows I could throw in like a couple of the cooler colors like uh, purple and blue might be cool to use but I don't know if I will. I hope I have enough paint for all four of these guys. Um, but I think that looks good. I think for the base coat that's pretty good. Okay, then I'm gonna move on to the second one. I'm just gonna add a little bit more water to my mixture. And we will do the same thing. Just like that. Do, I might try to make the kobolds and the snake things different. 
I won't make the snake ones too different. I think it'll just be like when I do the um, highlighting and stuff and dry brushing and whatnot, I'll just um, do like slightly different colors to kind of give them different tinges and whatnot. Like, ooh, I could give one of them like a greenish tinge. That'd be cool, I think. And then for the cobalt, I'll just like maybe make some of the weapons different, some of the armor different, you know, kind of that stuff. I'm kind of excited to try out doing the fire of these minis. I've never uh, done like a, I've never painted a fire before. Um, that's one of the things I haven't done before and I'm kind of excited to try it out. Um, granted, I don't really know what I'd be doing, but I'm still going to try if I figure out how to do glow effects. I might be able to figure this out too. And like if worst comes to worst, I can just look on here for <laughs> and try to copy that. I don't know how recently this was, but I found out recently that uh, Hero Forge added color to the system so you can color your minis. And um, I I think that's kind of cool. You know what I'm tempted to do with it though? Because um, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm ever gonna buy any of the miniatures with color, but what I might do is I might if I do ever get some minis from there, I might paint them and use that as a base for when I do paint them in real life. I think that might be what I do. And like, it's also fun for like when you want to do, when you have a D&D character and you want to make a reference picture of them but you're not very good at drawing stuff or you don't have enough time or it takes too long or whatever, you can just make one in Hero Forge. Um, it takes a while, I think it takes like a few hours or so. but. I think the end result is pretty good, um, and like for just, like purposes of references, I may have to go over this with a third coat. To be honest, that's how it's looking right now. Which is no big deal. I think I kind of painted this one a little bit quicker because I was thinking like, oh, it'd be super cool if like I could get through these all in one session, right? And then like we'd have these guys done, and then we'd um, you know can get through these dudes, but I don't think that's gonna really work out. So, these might, these guys, hopefully these guys won't take more than two sessions though. I might also add some more water to this later on. Actually, I might do it now. Oh, there goes a mini. Couldn't survive being set down on the table. Okay, so that's just a little bit of red over here and I want to cover up. So it's been about an hour and we have everything, well not everything, we have the bottom pretty much base coated. So next I'm going to, I think, work on the helmet. So I'll just bring them all out here. So I need to decide what I want to make the, well I think I'm going to give them each like a different one. So like I'll try to make one like a copper-ish color. Let's see, I have bronze and gold. And then I have my... My more, my other metallic colors, so I have plate mail, gun metal, and silver. So I can do plate mail for one of them, right? I can probably do gun metal for one of them. I can do bronze for another one, and I can try my very best to make a copper color. Let's see what copper looks like. Oh, so copper is like a very orangish color. Uh, but I'm gonna do that. Yeah, so it's kind of similar to. Bronze related to copper. I don't know anything about metals. Um, okay, well, I'm just gonna do the easier ones first. So I'll just do the um, I'll do the plate metal one first, and then I'll probably do the gun metal one, and I'll figure it out about the copper bronze thing. Another thing I want to do is so I'm gonna try to add some like a darker color to this too to kind of get the edges around it because um, I think that'll look good and I'll kind of give it like a more aged look, I think. And then this one I think we might have to do another coat of it too. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this horn thing. I don't know if I'm gonna say it's like, I might, I might just paint it like one of, uh, like say it's like an, a horn that's sticking up through the armor. Or I could just also paint it, hmm, I could also just paint it the same color and say it's a part of the army. Um, I could do that. I might say the horn's poking out. I might just make it like a different color. Could do that. 
I might just do that. Here, let me see what the other ones look like. So the other color I said I was going to do is the gunmetal color. Actually, I just realized, so I have two, like, bronze paints, and I think I can use both of them for the other one, just because of how, um, they're, like, a little bit different. See, there we go, look. Now they are just the tiniest bit different. See, I'm just gonna wait for this to dry a little bit, um, before I try to add more paint. Oh, yeah, see, I should have let it dry for longer. I think this is the only kind of armor on the snake, so we're just going to keep it at that. Oh, I should probably make the kobold armor thing match too. I think it's just the shoulder pads, really. I'm going to make the kobolds match the mounts. Okay, so now we have that. Here, let me make sure I got a nice uh, consistent coat. That's what I'm looking for, a nice consistent coat. And then we should be pretty much done with our friend here. And we can move on to our other friend, Tada. So, yeah, so now we've started working on the cobalt a little bit. I don't quite know what I'm going to do for his weapon, so I'll come back to that. Yeah, and then after this, we'll go back and do... We'll go to the other ones and do the bronze and <laughs> the other bronze color in hopes that it looks like a copper color. Or at least that it looks different enough. You know what this, these uh, colors like always remind me of? So like in seventh in seventh grade, in seventh grade I had a teacher, a history teacher, that liked to do a lot of art projects, right? Um, so like for whatever civilization or some whatever we were learning about, um, we would always have like an art project to go along with it. Yeah. Anyway, so for the medi medieval Europe one, I think, or like something to do with Europe, we had to make, um, shields, um, right? And like, we had to like go do, uh, tests and stuff. Not tests, but like we had to, um, pick, you know, what traits represent yourself. And like, once we did that, there'd be a list of, like, this is what animal you are, this is what colors represent you, um, and all that. Um, so I think, I ended up getting the color gold, and I remember when we went to paint our shields, there were two gold colors there. Um, it was like a there was a gold color that looked a lot kind of like, I guess one of these colors. Um, you know, like looked gold, right? And then the other one was basically just um, yellow paint with um, sparkles put in it. Um, and I remember I did not want the the yellow paint one because I'm like that doesn't look very good. I want the gold color. Yeah, I, I'm always reminded of that when I ever see this color because you can like see the sparkles in it, and it just reminds me of that yellow um, paint and imposter gold. I guess you could say. I am hoping the other bronze is a different enough color so that I don't have to mix any colors for this part. Um, just in case I do decide I want to make other parts of the um, you know, the armor, the same color. So yeah, this is what the other one looks like. It looks a little bit more orange. So I'm hoping it is a little bit more orange. Here's the last snake miniature. And this is what the color looks like. Which actually, it does look different. So that's, that's fantastic. Yeah, I'm gonna let this dry a little bit more while I... These minis, you don't want to stay standing. I have discovered, or maybe I'm just putting them down wrong, but they fall in so many times. I bet there's been fighting among the troops, the troops of kobolds. And I will look at, um, I did this guy first. I will look at him to see what I want to do next. What I could do next is I could start doing more stuff with the kobold, or what I could do is I could do an orange color and paint the flames just so I can kind of get a nice base coat on everything. Um, I might do that, actually. Uh, I need to find a nice orange color, though, first. I have a lot of orange. Another thing I could try to do is I could just try to do the flames right here, right now. I'm going to try to see how long it's going to take for me to, like, actually properly do the flames. Um, it's probably going to take me a little while, though. So let me get some of this orange color out. 
the mixture is a tiny bit of um, this other supposedly orange but more yellow color. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit of this and mix it in. So yeah, I'm just going to paint along here. I'm going to try to make it look like he's blowing fire out of his mouth. And I'm just going to make this look like um, a little bit of fire just to see how I think it looks. I think. Because I'm still not quite sure what it is. But it does kind of look like fire. So... That's what I will make it look like. And if I decide it looks good, then it will be fire. I have to just kind of make sure everything has like a nice, good orange base. I'm going to add some yellow to it and kind of start building upwards. Just going to see how that looks. Another thing I'm going to do afterwards is like I'll try to <clears throat> add some lighter highlights to the like edges. Not the edge. Well, I guess it's the edges. Um, I'll have to show you guys what I'm talking about, I guess. Oh yeah, so you can kind of see the difference, I think, with the fire. What I might do anyways, um, actually, is try to do it on all of them. Just so I can get it done, I guess. And I might, like, so when I go back and do, like, highlights and shadows, I may stick, like, try to stick a little bit of that at the very, you know, like, in the very bases and... Uh, what not. I hope this fire look turns out good. Um. Oh no. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not supposed to be there. Let's see if I can't get it off. Uh, I'm probably going to have to go over this again anyway. So it looks like it's cracking. So I'll have to do that next stream. Um, I'll have to try to remix the paint. So I need to make note of what I used to mix it. I don't quite know what I'm going to do for the cobalt yet. Yeah, so for one of them, it's, it's kind of quite difficult to see all the details on them. Just what how the sculpt is. Um, like, I don't know what I'm going to do for the body. I think that's why I'm trying to do the snake first, because I can see the details a lot more easily, so I can kind of figure out what I want to do for it a lot more easily. I might, after the stream is over, take a look at them and um, think of a game plan. Now I'm just going to take some of this yellow and mix it with the orange. And then I'll just kind of build up with this. I don't know if I got the underside of this. That doesn't look like it did, oh boy. Now I'm pretty certain I did the underside of this one. Oh yeah, see, I, got, I mean, I got the underside of this one right here. Yeah, I think another thing I'm gonna need to do is like I'm gonna need to try to kind of get like right there and right there to kind of make it look a little bit more realistic. This dream, I'm just gonna try to finish getting the basic colors on if I can't, if I have enough paint to do so. I am running very low on paint for this. Anyways, we've just about um, ran out of time. I was trying very hard to quickly finish the flames. I'm gonna, next stream I'm gonna do them better. It's a shame that like you can't see this part really from the front, so you can't really see what we spent like half the stream doing. But yeah, I'm, I am liking how they're turning out and um, I'm excited to do these, so I'll see everyone again. So thank you everyone who watched the stream and I hope to see you guys again next week.